Wow. I like the taste. I like the taste. This is our new product. But it's mixed between EVB 3D, EVB AQ, and EVB X3. So we have 10 grams glycerol, we have caffeine, we have 6 grams to give. 3.2 beta alanine, all in one plus S7, of course. Crazy pump. Okay, so today, today we are officially two days out. So some people they count today and Friday, but actually I don't count today or Friday. I say it's tomorrow and after tomorrow, so it's only two days until Limbia. Limbia is Friday night, and today we are here in the gym. As I always say, what's what's done is done. Like if you are not ready, you are not ready. So you're just here to move some weight. That's it. You do like one exercise for each muscle. So you do like one chest, one in back, one for biceps, one triceps, shoulders, and uh, you don't train your legs. It's better to just keep your legs away from any exercise now to see more lines and straight. So anyway, so today we start with big fly. Nothing crazy, remember. You just move with. <laughs> so I'm so excited. I'm so happy as well because it's my first Olympia and the vibe is different like I thought it was gonna be like any other show but no way like you see all the bodybuilders you see Hany, you see Hadi, Derek all these guys and you just like I, I, I'm gonna step next to all these guys on the, on the same stage Friday night I'm ready yes I'm ready but I'm still excited second exercise we do rear deploy rear deploy and the same thing, you just move away. Nothing crazy. Let's go. Actually, our pre-workout, EVB Extreme, when you mix it with EVB 3D and EVB, uh, EVB It's a magic combo. Oh my God. It's a magic combo. Crazy. And I have tried so many pre-workouts, so many. And it's like 10 grams citrulline malate, 8 grams citrulline malate. But when you have EVB Extreme, EVB 3D, EVB AQ, three together. So imagine our new product. Our new product, I can feel bomb. Look at my, look at my arm. Look at the vein. And, and believe imagine, me, the taste is crazy. Yeah, crazy and, taste. And imagine, two days out. And I uh, didn't even start, I'll be looking. So, it's time. Today was the last session. Uh, now, all you do is just relax, eat some food, have some good sleep, and rest your body. The work is done. Let your hard work speak. And today, we're done. Cardio done, workout done, and time to go home and eat, baby. Let's go. All day, every day. This ain't even cold. 
this delicious. About to be a great, great last chest workout, four days out. Let's go, baby. several days out. First upper body workout here in Las Vegas. So what we're gonna do is right now is just focus on just some, some good work, but nothing crazy. Again, I've been talking about this all day long. No crazy heavy weights this week. You don't want to risk injuries. You do want to be able to stimulate the muscle. You want to be able to create really good time under tension and get a good pump. <clears throat> <clears throat> So the reason why the RTD kicks in so fast is because it's already dissolved. Everything that's already dissolved. So you have the beta alanine, the citrulline, you have the S7, you have the glycerol, all dissolved and ready to go. So that's why I call my RTD and RTG because it makes you feel like you're ready to go. You ends up hitting very, very quickly. So again, five minutes, maybe 10 max and you'll start feeling it. You can't even finish the bottle before you feel it's working. I was working on some projects and then I started drinking one, just like an energy drink, just because I'm like, okay, I needed a little extra pick-me-up. Don't lie. You drink it because it tastes good. Not but it, I drank it because I drink caffeine all the time. And I'm like, I need some caffeine, but instead of an energy drink, I need something more functional. You know what I, I like about it? Probably as much as anything. It's great that the pump's in there, great that the AQ for the pre-workout, the fullness and all that, yes. Yeah but it doesn't make you feel like garbage. Sometimes when you drink these drinks, it makes you feel like a bad energy. And sometimes it bloats your stomach and it just doesn't, you don't feel good when you drink some of these drinks. The RTD, ready to go baby. Delicious, doesn't upset your stomach. And it doesn't give you this weird energy this crash almost negative side effect it's like clean i definitely feel that clean energy because it doesn't make you crash because it's time release caffeine so that makes a big difference as well putting in different factors different types of caffeine and that really makes a big difference go push we're good Good, we'll let, let him rest a little bit and we'll do another eight for about eight reps. Stretch. Good. Good, Eric. This is advice that I'm giving myself now that I still need to learn and I've gotten better at it over the years, but I still have to keep going in this direction. Try to be more in the moment, be present. Stop stressing about the future, the, out, like the outcome, what's gonna happen and where things are gonna go. I still have that now. I think a lot of us who are very driven and ambitious to, to succeed and have a, a big dream, a big goal in our lives that takes a lot of effort, a lot of sacrifice, a lot of discipline. It takes a lot of time. I think people that are like that, um, who are very driven, we want to see that all of that work and sacrifice and discipline comes to fruition. And we want it to be on our timeline and the way we have it planned in our head. But really, we have to lean on God and trust that his plan is greater than ours. And sometimes, our plan lines up with God's plan. Sometimes it doesn't, but either way is 
I would say don't stress about the future because the future is bright and if you trust in God and lean on him, it's always gonna, gonna be a good outcome. So if I, could, if I knew where my life would be right now, 10 years ago, I would have never stressed about some of the things that I stressed about. And this is advice that I'm 100% giving to myself right here, right now, today, because I can still be that way a lot. Pompey's as big as it's gonna be today, for sure. But what's that most muscular? Like lean forward more, like that. That's how you're supposed to do it, like that. Like that. Good, 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 like that. Good job. Boom, stretch, good. Good. Good stability. Good keep the traction, great stretch, good. Good. Good, 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 good. Perfect. A little higher, come on. I'll help you, I'll help you. Stretch, 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 chest up, chest up. Good. Chest up, chest up, stretch more. Good. Oh yeah. Come on, dirty. Come on, control, buddy. You got this. And go. Up, up, up. Oh, right there, bro. Slow, 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 slow. slow. Good job. Got a good chest workout in. Hit all the angles. Got some really good, two different sets of flies, two different sets of presses. Just very deliberate. Nothing crazy heavy. Stayed away from the dumbbells today and focused more on machines, but plate loaded machines as well as table machines. And I think we got the right angles. Got a little posing in. Feel like everything is getting dialed in right. Um, definitely can get them a little bit tighter in terms of just a little bit more depleted. Then we're gonna have to be able to kind of manipulate day by day. So tomorrow morning, do another check-in. He's gonna go and um, get another meal in, do a little extra cardio and make sure that uh, keep pushing, keep pushing hard. I felt like he got a good contraction, but he almost felt like it was a little bit of that mid, like a, almost like a flat in the angle, even though it was an incline machine. He didn't feel like he was hitting his upper chest enough. So he wanted to finish it off and say, hey, look, I feel like we can still do incline presses to get that really high up here. So now we're doing dumbbell incline presses. That's why we're going back to back. He didn't feel that mind muscle connection on that hammer strength, incline press. He just felt like it was still almost kind of something that was similar to a flat for him. So again, every person's different, body mechanics are different, but obviously he knows his body, so we're gonna go ahead and throw in some incline presses um, because he feels really good with being able to get that upper, just right close to your collarbone striation. And when I say striations, I mean that you'll get them when you diet down. This isn't actually create the striations, it's creating the base muscle so that when you diet, then you can start getting some striated muscle. So don't get a little twisted. You're not gonna get striated chest from just doing incline presses. You still gotta diet and be able to get lean enough to be able to see this in Good. Six, seven. It's good, really good. Especially after doing the hammer presses on the incline. Now we're doing the incline dumbbell press, 100 pounds, solid. Again, final week, no breaking records, but good mind-muscle connection, pump is solid. Took the EVP Extreme RTD, next level, 10 grams of glycerol. You got your six grams of pure citrulline, 3.2 grams of beta alanine and time-release caffeine. And then with the Yohimbi for that extra kick that you're gonna need to get some ass.
Okay, so those kind of fibers are not built overnight. Years and years of training, lots of competitions, that's what creates that seasoned look. This muscle has been there for a very long time, so you have those deep striations. The fewer muscle is the muscle that doesn't tend to striate as long, or I should say it doesn't strike as much, because it's looking to get seasoned. Then you'll get more striations, but it's something that you end up getting over time. It doesn't happen overnight. Now Holly's going to do some abs, a little bit of cardio, just get everything cleaned up so we can reset for tomorrow. So, uh, good chest workout with Holly. Now, got to get back to the hotel, get everybody all dialed in for the next day. So, day two coming up.